Hi everyone, Rampner here. Uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of crowd recently, trophy leader for a little while longer, but I do think Harms is going to pass me at some point, but, uh, I'm alright with that, you know. I was trophy leader for, like, a week, and, uh, that was much longer than I would have anticipated, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm alright with that. But, you know, like all things in life, you know, everything has to come to an end, right? Good things come to an end, bad things come to an end, nothing lasts forever. And one of the notes, you know, that got me reminiscing and kind of I missed playing was Modern Black Control. Um, I used to play it in the past, and quite frankly, I could just, you know, never get it to work in the current format. Um, I know other people have played it recently. I know we've gotten new additions like Cast Down and Bone Picker, and people have done well with that. I know one player, I think it was against, um, they made top mate of a recent challenge with it, so perhaps to them. And, uh, you know, I tried it, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm not playing it right, maybe I don't have the touch, but, um, haven't been able to make it work, unfortunately. And, you know, I do like to rant on Model Black Control every now and then, but, quite honestly, I, it wasn't that I did not enjoy playing. Um, it was kind of like the underdog, and I do think it has been somewhat unexplored, and, um, obviously I don't think it's tier 1 or anything, but I do think, you know, it's, it's decent, it's not insane. You know, if I was going to play a challenge, I would probably not take it, but, um, for fun and for entertainment value, I always enjoy it for that. Um, and so, I just haven't been able to make it work, I haven't been able to do well with it, and, uh, I thought to myself, what have I been able to do well with? Fun, right? That's how I, you know, be a trophy leader, although, you know, like, like all your things, that will eventually end, I assume. And, if I can do well with Tron, and I want to play Modern Black Control, but I cannot do well with current iterations of Modern Black Control, why don't I combine them? So I bring to you, Modern Black Control with Tron. Now, I know what you might be saying, Raptor, this looks like a pile, why are you butchering Tron like this? Why are you butchering Modern Black Control like this? How dare you? And my response to that is, let me have my fun, alright? Don't, don't kill the vibe, alright? Let me do me. And so, basically the idea here is that Tron's very good, and I want to do an experiment. And that experiment is, can a midrange deck, like Mono Black Control, get access to the Tron lands at little to no cost, and have it be basically strictly better to play Tron in Mono Black Control? That's the thing I'm curious about. Right, the Tron lands are powerful, they give you a lot of mana very quickly, they ramp you fast, and the big difference is that we have Fort Prism, but we now also have Fort Bonder Tournament. Before Ornament was in the format, I would say you could make the argument that no, right, there's no reason to splash the Tron lands because you don't have enough color fixing. But now we have eight color fixers, right, Fort Ornament, Fort Prism, right, it's, it's just like when we had Art and Fastly. Right, we had four asks for Lane Fort Prism, you had all the colors you could ever ask for, uh, why not? And so, I'm curious, is that the case now? Right, obviously, Ornament is not nearly as prevalent as, uh, Ask for Lane is, because Ask for Lane is basically free, there's no reason not to, but Ornament, you do have to build around it a little bit, you have to make sure you have enough mana for it, um, and there is somewhat of a cost to it, I think that's a very balanced card. It's good, it's powerful, Right, it's kind of like a mono, it's kind of like an astrolabe to an extent, but I would argue it's a lot more fair, it's a little bit more expensive, you have to use mana to draw the card, it's not just free, uh, you know, it's not like the mono or astrolabe where you cast the spell and then you just start getting free cards. This you actually have to cast the spell and then pay more mana to get the card, so I think it's a little bit more fair in that regard. We also have the thriving lands now, which makes the mana even better. Uh, you know, it helps splash some of the red cards, green cards on the sideboard. Um, also helps, help cast multi-appears and idle blasts and stuff, so... I do think that it's worth trying. And so, I wanna see, you know, can I make Mono Black Control better with Tron Lands? Is it wrong to just not play Tron Lands in any mid-range deck, right? The only thing we're really losing here is access to things like Defile, um, I'm still playing Snuff Out, which you heard make an argument that's incorrect, but I'm curious, I wanna see, I wanna see, and, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, we still have Fort Hash now, that's a very good replacement for the file, uh, we have Fort Shainer in it, we have Annette Wayne Hay, we have Reaping in all our sub we have some Night Whispers, and then we have 
you know, the, the amount of light also is re-motion, research, sitting around, a couple of emails. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely excited. Now, is, do I know how well this is going to go? Obviously not. Could I bomb and fail? Absolutely. But I've been bobbing and failing with Model Black Control anyway, so what's the harm? And I want to have a little bit of fun, you know, playing the same crowd list over and over and over again. It's a little boring. Um, I've been number one for long enough. Let's have some fun and put this series to, to, the, to the test. So I'll see you guys in match one and we'll start playing there. Alright, we are back for match numero uno, and this is my opener, and, uh, Mono Black Squad, and, quite frankly, I'm, I'm eating it, I'm excited, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I want to see where this takes us on this wonderful adventure. I'm gonna play, uh, this for enemy blue, obviously, uh, best color in that hit, uh, and, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we're gonna have a great turn to play, Mono Black Patrol really has not had a lot of turn to options, you know, we have, Witches, but that was really about it. Uh, but now, you know, I uh, I can play a prism here. They want to counterspell it. They're more than, than uh, you know, able to do so, but then uh, they're not going to counterspell my ornament. And I also still have other cards I can play. Well, it's like they're playing impulse, so I'm not sure what that means. Like, hurt me the, uh, what is it? Uh, blue black free from the real net? Uh, that does look somewhat similar here. I know that that does play Islands and Impulse and tons of hand trips. Uh, I believe I was the one who came up with it probably a year, like a year ago. And I know Hermie Lynx has been doing quite well with it. Um, he has tuned it up quite a bit and has made it very good. So, I'm going to uh, play a Shittering Rats here. You know, send a message. It's a lot less good when they have Evolving Wilds. But you can see here we have Proud Mana, we have all the colors online, and... Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> We're doing what we wanted to do. Uh, they're gonna brainstorm here, um... Which is... Fine, I guess. Um... It does look like they are blue black green from the real. Um, uh, which I do think is somewhat of a tough matchup. We do have Fort Duress, though. We also have Snuff Out. And we have Main Born, um... Oh, he game Shinomi, which... You know, it does help, it does make it a lot more feasible. Uh, but I do think these shooting rats are going to to work pretty quickly. Not to mention, unlike Mono Black and Troll, we have a top net of Earth of Mine. And if I draw that here, oh man, we're going to town. We're going to do some crazy things in the following turns. Alright, so they're right here, which honestly I'm pretty happy about because it means they aren't in a time watch. Um, one of the things that uh, was problematic with shooting uh, rats is that if your opponent had an Evolving Wild to play, they can just put that card they don't want, shuffle it away, and then, um, they're basically still in it to them. Okay, so this is definitely free from the real. I was right, my suspicions were right. Yeah, so now they're looking for a bounce land, they have it here, and, uh, they could heal us in the following turns. Well, that is something we have to keep in mind. Um, the question is, do we want to, uh, do we want to play around that, or do we just accept it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to play out an ornament here and just give them a window. Uh, my hope is that they don't have it, and then next turn, if I draw Tron, we're in business. Uh, but if I don't draw Tron, I can even gain Shinomi them and just put them in a really tough position. So, once again, I'm not playing around it because they have it draws, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to force them to, to have it here. I think. You know, I played Blue Black Free from the Real enough times to where I know uh, the longer you wait, the worse it gets for you. Just force them to have it. They might have a snap here. Oh, they're an impulse. All right, they're probably looking for a snap. Um, once again, you gotta make them have it. Um, one thing I found is that the more time you give them, they're gonna have more lands. They're going to have more cards. They're going to have more options. It gets worse for you. So, force them to have it, um, basically every time. And you know what, I'm gonna do my thing, and you have to have it. Um, I think that's the best approach for a matchup like this, because the problem is, if you are not aggressive, uh, they can just set up and sculpt the perfect hand, and then just get around you on your end step, have a million counter spells to back it up, and then you just lose. Whereas if you force them to have it, it's a little bit more difficult because they are looking for like a four, a three or four card combo. Uh, now it looks like they might have it here. It looks like they're gonna play Wind Sun. Uh, we'll see here. Ooh, 
Alright, they're playing an Aquanaut. Um, I'm not a fan. If they have it here, I'm not a fan of that. Because now they have to know which land is the summoning set one. I believe there is a way to tell. I don't remember how. Um, okay, they're going to snap. That's fine with me. Um, yeah, so they have land, Zendithan. Yeah, they, I don't know if they have that hammer here. Um, I'm lighting my spot. Okay, they might have- Oh, they put on the wrong land. See, that's the problem. That's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, you can hit the wrong land, and then you get severely punished. Um, well, I don't know if they had the cab moment. If they did, there was no reason to do what they did. They could have just snapped, and then went for it. Um, I think this was a pretty big mistake. Um, I- Maybe they got fancy, they were trying to show off, but, um... Yeah, that might have cost them here. If their like, their hand is an island and two unknowns, and if they're going for this, I'd have to assume it's perplex, or you know, a hammer piece of some sort. Uh, I'm just gonna kill it now. Um, if they had like a a, a, a spell or something, I'd be surprised, but I I think it's correct to just worth something else. Wait, um, I do think they might have made a mistake there, but it's hard to know. Or uh, so what do I want to just earn? I think I'm gonna just earn a ranger and. Raymer hint. Um, if right now their hand is two lands and three unknowns, and if they don't hit handprints here, I'm gonna just get to start spamming rats and basically time walk them. So, perplex. Okay, so they have island and something else. Rush with death. Alright, so they didn't have a perplex in hand like as the wind condition. Uh, I'm going to just keep doing what I've been doing, and play rats to basically time want them, because they don't have any handprints, so they're not drawing what they need. Um, so they need to have everything again, which is not likely. Um, and so considering rats is basically acting as a time want for me, which is ideal. Uh, now I think what I do is I attack here, and... I... No, I... Okay. Like, who know, you may gain, who know, but it seems like they have nothing going on right now. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play an ornament here. And then I'm going to play another rat. Because that's basically like a time block. Right? So if they have nothing in hand, this is basically a time block, right? So they're going to put it hard back, draw it, still have nothing to do, and then pass it back. So it's, it's a free time block, yeah. Alright, so that was a, a good read on my part. And now what I get to do is attack here, don't even gain Shinobi in their hand, and just make it very difficult for them to do uh, really anything here. Like, now they're in a really tough spot, because they have to, like, draw uh, the entire combo, uh, which is possible, but not super likely, and now I'm putting them in a rough spot. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, an instant here to hold up, uh, but this is, like, their last turn. They have to draw... Uh, everything here, which, while possible, is not likely. Oh, hey, I think we might have stole this game. Uh, which is very good for me, all things considered. Yeah, I think they might have made a mistake. I think their bounce land play cost them pretty, uh, significantly. Um, unfortunately, you know, not a ton I knew about that, but, uh, I do think they probably got a little too fancy there. So, sideboard-wise, uh, end up reading my duresses, obviously, snuff out, great. As that is fantastic. Uh, Shane of Hades is quite poor because it's a sorcery speed removal spell and they are not going to combo and then pass it back. They're going to just combo and kill us. Um, Reaping the Rain is also no pets in the matchup. And I like everything else. I like Rain Merchants. I like Oima. I like Monitor. I like Phyrexian Ranger. I like Pinnering Rats. Uh, yeah, everything here looks fantastic. Um, let us submit and see where this takes us. Alright, well, I'm loving this hand. As you can see, we have perfect mana, as always, because we have ornament now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. If we do our tower, oh man, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a really good time. I'm excited. Well, come on, give us a tower. That, that's all we want here. That's all we want. It's, it's, give me Tron. Come on, I'm playing Model Black Control. Give me Tron. <laughs> Uh, this net is absurd. I don't know why, it, it, it just makes me giddy. It's, it's like, it's stupid. It shouldn't work. 
And then it does. And that's the funny part. So, they're pondering here, looking for some lands, looking for bounce land. Funny enough, this net used to play Expedition Map. Um, the Blue Black Fleet net when I was playing it. And the map man hurt their net more than it hurt mine. Specifically, mine being Tron. Um, which I think is hilarious and also somewhat depressing. Because it used to show, like, the map man didn't do anything. But it's funny. So, you know. When it's worth, you got that going for it, I suppose. So, next turn, I'm gonna play Prism, and if I know Tower, we're going off. You got that for sure. Uh, ooh, Mold Nippers. Alright, Mold Nipper time. Always going to yield. Ooh, we hit Ray Merchant, so not a Tower, but we did hit Ray Merchant, so cannot complain about that. Um, so yeah. They're gonna keep looking for their combo pieces every turn. They're just gonna spam hand trips. Um, when I was building that deck, I had four pounder, four pre four impulse, and four brainstorm because you're trying to assemble a four to five card combo, and so you're not really trying to do anything else. So just play all the hand trips you possibly can to assemble what you need. That was sort of the philosophy there. I'm gonna play Raymer, or er, excuse me, Threat Scene Raymer, who is my top net, uh, or even Ange Kenobi. That's important. And if I don't, then next one I can go Ornament into Night Whisper and be alright with that. But yeah, they're, they're hand flipping like a fiend over there. Uh, that's what the net was built to do, so, you know, they got that going for them. And, uh, we'll see if they have their bounce land. They found it, so that's bad for us, it does mean they can have it on next turn. Um, but there's not a ton I can do about that. I'm going to play an Ornament. And then I'm going to Night Whisper here, and just start bashing. Now, they could have it, and if they do, then, you know, that's unfortunate, but I don't think we did anything too crazy here. Um, I do think my keeps were pretty reasonable, um, but we will see. Okay, so we get another turn, which is nice. This next turn, um, I can go Rats into Rager, and that's, that's not bad, that's, that's pretty good. Um, I'll take that. Ooh, tower. Tower's pretty spicy. Tower is pretty spicy. I'm gonna tap here, um... And then we'll take it from there. Uh, the problem is, if I play tower... I don't get to do a double play, and I think the double play is way more important. So, I'm gonna play rats. Yeah, I, I wanna get more, like, pressure onto the board, if I can. This way, I hide around them or draw stuff, and once again, they still have to heal us, so... Yeah, they're in an impulse now, so they put back a card and then they impulse, which kind of undoes our shittering rats a little bit. Um... But I still think this is the right line, because you want to get the rats down to disrupt them a little bit, and then next turn I can play tower and just go crazy. So... This is sort of their window. They have to heal us now, I would think. Um... If they don't have it here, it gets worse for them. Okay, well, they don't have it, and now it's gonna be bad for them. Because now I have Pass Down up, and they have to not only have the combo, but they now have to have, like, a Dispel, or, like, an Iten Rouse up, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult, uh, for the opponent. So... Or they could have a Snap here. Snap could do it, I think? No, they don't have enough mana. They don't have enough mana. So, that's not gonna do it. Dress. That was such a good draw. Alright, I'm gonna dress them real quick. Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, let's see what they have over there. Alright, so they have the free from the real, the winds on the hand, the perplex. The, yeah, they had everything. Um, I think it's pretty clear we take free from the real. Um, uh, because perplex can be a, another freed. Or, well, hmm, do we? Is that the play? It might be perplexed, because... Okay, so here's my thought process. If I take free, and let's say they draw a wind condition, they can perplex into the free. I'm not doing anything. If I take perplex, they have to draw the wind condition naturally. If they draw another free, it's no good. But... 
I don't know what the statistically correct play is. I think it's one of those two. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it does. Maybe it does. Well, I'm gonna just top lock them with considering wraps, right? So... I think I take three, but it's close. You you can convince me it's not that, and uh, that's the wrong play. But right now, I'm just going to attack. I'm not going to play the tower just yet. Because I want to get the damage through. And then I'm going to go land, and here's the question. Uh, do I... It's not going to eat rows, right? If they are playing to the, uh... Yeah, no, we, we, we play Shinran Rats 100% here, because that will time what them, and then that's when they die to Ray Merchant. Yeah, this is, this is a play, 100%, because now I can time what them, and put them in a really bad spot. Because now they can't combo heal, they don't have any card draw to get out of this slot. And so now what I'll do is, I'm going to play an ornament now, attack with all, And they have to, like, get out of my land right here. Which, for one, it's worth if I was the opponent, I would have done that, because it at least is out. Um, I mean, this that's very hard to play. I'm not hating on my opponent or anything. Or weird that. But if you, like, in a spot like that, just get out of all my, all my other sources, like, do it. But I guess it does make it a mistake to play an ornament, huh? Yeah, there was a pun on my end. Um... But yeah, now the game's over, so, it goes to show, so far, so good, uh, Mono Black felt way better there, with Conlands, like, you know, I had my colored forces, I had all my, my boys, you know, my rats, and my raiders, Ray Merchant, Gary, you know, Moldup, and which I could have passed, didn't need to, but I could have though, you know, yeah, that was, that was awesome, you know, turn 7 hill, with Mono Black Tron, I want to get a draw, I'm gonna draw another duress, so I played Moldupper, I want to hit a duress, uh, so I would have rest like, you know, probably perplex. Yeah, that, that was awesome. That felt great. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we got the first one down. Uh, let's see what happens in match two. Alright, we are back for the second match with the Mono Black Control Tron. This hand is amazing. We are keeping it. We have a Black Force and a Mishuka Bot. We have a turn two Night Whisper if we so desire. We have Turn 3 rats, if we want to play a prism on turn 2. I'm excited, this hand's gonna be spicy. Uh, we have that to hay for tokens and whatnot. Ooh, looks like this could be burn. Yes, it is burn. So, this is a trickier matchup. I will be 100% transparent about that. Um, the question here is, do I want to equine to hay their lava runner and hold that up? And I think the answer is yes. Um, with Mono Black Control, this has always been kind of a bad matchup anyways, so I want to see if having access to, like, your sideboard cards will help it in any way. Um, but the idea here is that I want to make sure this doesn't get to get any damage in, because uh, that can be problematic. Um, it does slow down my rats a little bit, which is unfortunate, but the problem is that if I, um, if I give them time to, um, uh, you know, it, it damage in with that, um, uh, that's damage that I wish they just never got in, uh, in the first place, right? So, uh, if I can just sort of negate any amounts of damage like that, it could buy me a whole turn, potentially, which, uh, I do think is pretty important in the long run. Well, I do wish I held on to that, but I don't think there was really anything that, um, but had I healed these, it would have certainly been better for me in the long run, but, uh, unfortunately, I could not really see that one coming. So, I'm going to play a Shittering Rats here, and I will train with one of them, uh, no questions about that, and then I'm gonna have to hope that Shader's unit, uh, will take up the slack from here. Um, but it is not looking great for me, but the problem is that they want to kill my rats, they have to waste a burn spell on it, or they have to have exactly land, uh, steering blaze, which is not, like, okay, they, well, they do have the land there. So it looks like they have the same place, otherwise they would have certainly cycled that. I'm not a fan of Forgotten Tame and Burn for what it's worth. I think this card is for cowards, because if you're playing Burn, your goal is not to go long. Just play all untapped land so you can kill quickly. I think if you wait, uh, it's pretty bad. 
So let's let me hook me down here. Uh, if we don't draw a slightly removal spell, we do not. So the game is over. Unfortunately, they had double lava runner there. Uh, after our at wind hey, I think had we hit all three, it would have been very good for us. Uh, but you know it happens. We do have a sideboard for this, so let's let's bring that in, shall we? Not really a fan of reaping in the map hook has down a sign. I think I only want a couple Shaner's units, I think I can take the rest out. Same with that wind A. Night Whisper's pretty bad in the matchup. Uh, I could hunt a couple of Retsy and Raiders, maybe it was all of them, because the card is a bit of a, of, of a nuisance at times. So, I do think taking that one out is important. And then we're going to have, you know, the Monopers, the Rats, the Grey Merchants, lots of life gain. I I'm down, I'm down. Um. This might be a little too much, like maybe I'm overboarding and you could make that argument, but you know, I I, I just want to see what it's like. Um I don't know if very good. Triple weather this form is going to help tremendously. Uh helps get us life and get out of rain. So I, I do like that. And yeah, this hand looks great. Uh we have a hide blast, we're gonna get to play a couple rats out early on. Uh we might have turn three uh bonder tournament if we so choose, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna need blue right out the bat, just, you know, I wanna make sure I can play Hydro Blast, and I do have a turn to play with Prism, so, pretty excited about that. Um, we are kind of at in the same dilemma again. Question is, do I wanna play Prism? And I think the answer here is actually yes, because I wanna make sure I can hit my third land drop. Uh, ooh, no, another Hydro Blast is awesome. Uh, very happy about that, so if I do miss my third land drop, I can at least hold up double Hydro Blast, which is, like, very good for me. Um, not to mention they are kind of in a rough spot here, because it looks like they're not hitting their second land drop, I would imagine. They might have a needle drop, perhaps, but I don't think they have a second land. Uh, they're gonna skewer me, and I assume they pass here, because if they did have a land, they would have played the land, and then, on, uh, you know. Um, uh, actually, I think I pass here. I think I pass. I'm gonna, if I can get out these rats, since the rain should run very good shape, um, and it just boils down to being able to do that. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna just kill this now because they're passing priority, so I assume they're going to play one. And then, this is another, another Lava Runner, I will stop it. Uh, it's not, it's a Lava Spike. Uh, I will let that through. So, I really am hoping to hit any land here. Okay, we failed on that front. So, the problem is, if they hit their foot and land, it becomes really bad for me. I have to hit a land before they do. If I can do that, I'm going to start time walking with the rats, and that should be able to hear it. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't hit the land there. I'm just not going to let that resolve that. It represents 5 damage, so I'm just not really about that. So, the rest. I'll take it. It's not a land. We really do need a land, but uh, I said double fire blast here, which is... A lot of damage, but the problem is taking one fire blast doesn't eat the other one. Um, I think it might be chain lightning here because yeah, that does sort of turn out the rest of their hand. It's like it makes you were bad. They don't really have any pursuit blades right now, so yeah. All right, well, there's the land. Unfortunately, it's not the land we wanted. I'm gonna name green here for weather the storm, and we will see what happens. I still think we can lose this, but, uh, okay, so they're playing a land there, so this is a Molten Rain. Uh, looks like a Molten Rain. Or maybe a Heart Test Skewer. Who me a Heart Test Skewer that it? So, nope, it is a Molten Rain, like I thought. Uh, not great for me, but we do now have perfect information, and boom, we get to play our Rats. So, this is very good for me, because now, uh, Rats is under his start time walking them into oblivion. It's like, they can heart has Skewer, but that's all they get to do, and then, they're, they're not gonna be able to empty their hand, so, I'm gonna get to, uh, have three time walks here that will basically just lock them out. So they're in a hard test you were like we thought. And then they're not gonna be able to blaze me. Uh or they could, but they're not gonna be able to pull them out that they would want. And then I'm gonna get to start slamming rats. So I think it's correct here to just slam the rat no matter what, because if I give them a draw slap and it's like a land or something, um it hurt me detrimental. So all I'm asking here is to draw a fifth land. Alright, yes, a sixth land, if I only, you know, that was my fifth, but, uh, if I can do that, we're in really good shape. Otherwise, though, I think we're just gonna keep time locking them and trying to hit what we need. If I do hit a land, though, we're in really good shape. Uh, I'm gonna play the rats again, absolutely, no question about that. And then, uh, we're gonna do our thing. So, 
Land up the top here that's untapped wins it for us. Um, untapped land here does win us this game. Uh, if we miss on that, we can lose. So, uh, we do have to hit there. Or Ina. Or Ina's very good, actually, because... Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. I'm, I'm a huge fan. If I, look, if I miss a land drop, that's what I wanted to hit, I guess. It's like, now, here's the problem. They're gonna lose two things, right? So they wanna fire blast me now in that hand. But then they're losing the rest of their hand. So, now they're top net mode, I'm at four life, we're in decent shape. So... Not the land we wanted, but... Still. This is pretty good for me, all things considered. So, I assume here they're going to Searing Blaze and Fire Blast me, and then I guess the top net burn spell, we are in bad shape. But... I do think everything I've done here is correct. Because now I'm putting them in top net mode, and if they draw like a 2 mana, burn spell, they're not gonna end it off. So, this is basically, they have to draw a bolt. Like, like uh, Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt, um... Oh, hey, they missed, sweet. So, yeah, we had Leetland in play. Uh... We were not gonna hit the, <laughs> the fifth land, but it didn't matter. We, we, we got the job done, so... Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I'm very content with that. I, I, I thought we were gonna lose for a second, and I was like, man, we are not hitting our land drops. Uh, but yeah, no, that was awesome. Uh, gonna run it back. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy in the game. Only okay with that. This sounds great. We have a weather. And we have, we have pretty close to Tron. Yeah, no, this is a heap. Uh, weather is one of the best cards against burn. Like, if they just start going off, um, you can weather if you gain life. Um, and just kind of like, it's basically like a mine rot that, um, can discard more than like two cards. Really, really good. It's like, if they, um, I'm gonna say no to that. If they like play three burn spells and then you weather at the end, not only are you basically hit, um, powdering all three of those burn spells, but, um, you're also, uh, powdering like a fourth one because weather the storm, you know, it's also just gonna give you more life, anyways. So, thank god we have a pass down, it's not gonna that, so. Half down was really important in this hand as well, there was another thing I forgot to mention. But half down was pretty big. The thermo is how they sort of run away with the game like this, but um, I do have one in this form now, so uh, we're in pretty good shape. I do have another thermo though, which is not great, but I do have weather, so uh, weather is going to help me quite a bit. Um, so the question is, do I play Shannon Rats? And I think the answer is no. I would much rather have them go off on this turn with Thermo, and then I can just undo everything with Weather the Storm, and then put them in really bad shape. It's like, and they just say, you know, Burn Spell, Thermo, Burn Spell, Thermo, you know, and then I can just go EOT Weather. Not only have I undone those Burn Spells, but now Weather has more or less, um, undone the damage with, uh, Thermo. So it looks like they aren't playing around weather. Uh, I kind of did signal it when I named green, but I'm still gonna play it here. Uh, I, I think it's wrong not to. It, uh, it gives me a lot of life here, and it does put me in pretty good shape. Now I'm gonna start playing out my rats, trying to time walk them a little bit, put them in a tough spot. Uh, you know, this would help me, uh, buy me some time, and really just sort of get ahead. Uh, so I, I, I do think, you know, Weathering there was a rat, because if I don't weather there, uh, I'm not using my mana very effectively. And I don't think you should try and wait for this sort of perfect turn to get, like, the, the perfect weather off, because, um... You don't know, like, well, you don't know that's gonna happen first off, and also, they can just be playing around that, and then you get punished, so... I don't really want that to happen. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm, I'm gonna heal this immediately. The longer that card stays in play, the worse it gets for me, so I, I'm, I'm healing it 100%. They might just go off here a little bit, but, eh, I'm not really stressing. We're in a pretty reasonable life total right now, and they're healing my rat. That's so good for me. That's so good for me. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's great. That's exactly what you want to see in a spot like this. Uh, because now they're just not throwing burn at my face. They're throwing it at my thing, so. I'm gonna play an artifact here, try and hit a land drop. Um, I hit, I hit a mold here, so I'm fine with that. And then, if they don't have anything here, we can just play another rat. Okay, so they have a Lava Runner, but I do have it Shittering Rats, so that does explain their bolt, but the problem is, like, eh, we're still in pretty good shape. Ooh, another Rats. Alright, well, I'm playing that guy out. This does time on them a little bit, and it does mean that their Lava Runner might not be able to attack. And if they do attack, I'm blocking 100%. There's really no question about that. 
All right, they're not going to do that, but it's good news for us. I'm going to play another match. Um, time walk again, let's go. Um, and then I'm going to play a Prism. You know, another great two mana play. Helps me off some cards. Oh my gosh. Oh, you make games. You know me, it's absurd. Yeah, I'm gonna attack here 100% because I want them to block. And the problem is that they attack, I'll block, and then I can or even ink know me and just empty their hand. Yeah, this is great. This is looking really good for us. Not to mention I'm gonna eat that another rats too, like and just time want them again. I mean if they're empty handed, I guess I can't do that, but I mean who cares? They're empty handed. So yeah, I'm doing this here. Um Wow, <laughs> we beat Burn! <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, I don't know how much our sideboard time truly really helps there, but, I mean, weather was nice. Weather gave us, like, what, six life? And then his rats locked them out, and I mean, we still have to play a mono black control game. Like, we did all the mono black control things, while just having the potential nut draw of, like, Tron and, like, double mold her. So, yeah, no, that felt great. That was awesome. <laughs> Somehow we're 2-0. Yeah, let's, let's hop into match 3. Alright, we are back. For match numero tres, the side looks great. I'm eating. I can cast all my spells. Yeah, no reason not to eat. So, the question is, do I lean off on Ball or Thriving more? And the answer is Thriving more. Ooh, it's a Tron Mirror. Ooh, I better hope they're playing Mono Black and Cult Hearts. If not, we could be in trouble. The Tron Mirror is really stupid, I'll be 100% honest. I, I stopped hearing about the Tron Mirror ages ago. Because it is dice rolling. It really is. Um. I think if you actually try and play, uh, you know, and try and win the mirror, it's not really worth the time, in my opinion. So, look, we, we could lose the mirror here, and, you know, yeah, that could happen. Would it be unfortunate? Sure. But, you know, do I really care? Eh, not really. I'm gonna just add a motive for here and kind of throw them off a little bit. Um, I know some people might say, how dare you? Motive is, like, one of the best cards, and, yeah, I, I see that, but, um, I, I want to throw them out or a trail for a little bit, kind of confuse them a little bit. Um, I guess Night Swift is a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a, of a sign for things to come, but we're gonna try and throw them out our trails for a little bit and confuse them. We might need this, uh, Oki McGain Shinomi off. We might be in business. Turns out that's the secret to the fun here, playing Oki McGain Shinomi. Um, I do wonder if maybe I should have played Ball instead of, um, Night Swift on turn two, because I might not be able to lay out in the engine on me with that, but, um, I don't think I'm too worried about that. I suppose I could have a mold for here, but we can always cast down the mold for so, not gonna be too big of a deal. I'm gonna, um, gonna play Bonders Ornament first before I ball it, because they how to spell this, uh, I wanna ball it away anything they might have. So, looks like they are just one card away from Tron, so are we though. Um, or I guess we're two cards away from Tron. But we're gonna get Oki McGain Shinomi off, and they're not, so who's the real winner here? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Um... So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam this. Just, just slam it, and just show them who's boss, you know? <laughs> no, no moment tease me. Uh, they're gonna moment tease. That's fine, I'm okay with that. It does make their mana a little bit worse, and uh... Yeah, I'm alright with that, especially if it means, like, they're not able to do what they want, because they have to, uh, hold some stuff up. They could have an Enroma Horn here, though. That would suck. Um... Oh, no, it's a Stone Horn. Yeah, whatever, I don't really care about that. Stone Horn's fine. I'm gonna just start Shittering Rats, uh, Shittering Rats seeing, uh, my opponent, and try in an Ultima, Ultima off, so... Yep, so that will be the play here. Um, they could have an Ephemerate, but it, it's like a 1 or 2, like, there's no real reason to play around that. Uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, lock you out, no more draw step for you. Uh, see if they want to counterspell this, but I'm playing in such a way that I don't think there's... I just think we're gonna have a hard counterspell, but not very common in Tron. I'm gonna just ask this down now. Um, if they have a, a way to stop that, then stop me it, but I'm trying to just lock them out. This looks like a motive, but perhaps. Nope, it's another stone horn. I'm alright with that though. Uh yes, it's not a motive here, so I mean, yeah, and no, I'm 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 chilling right now. But yeah, I'm gonna lock them out here real quick. Um I guess maybe I shouldn't play Motifer into rats, but um I don't know. I'm I'm fine. Like I'm gonna get to at Hey. Uh, and it looks like they aren't just in top net mode, so uh that's that's good for me. Um so now I think I attack with all, right? Like just attack with everything. And 
I'm gonna get some kill with Ray Merchant. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, Ray Merchant would win this game for me. <laughs> this couldn't happen. This is like hearsay or whatever. I don't know what the term is, but like, this is, this is unethical. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. Uh, my god. It just goes to show how stupid the Prime Mirror is, by the way. It just doesn't tell you the Prime Mirror is dumb. I don't know what will. But we are bashing right now. We, we are we are slamming. Okay, they're gonna moment piece here, right? And then I'm gonna kill the Raymer and and they're just gonna they're gonna be like, what the heck, man? That's not how this is supposed to go down. Look, I don't care if I lose the map, so that that to me was good enough to just show how dumb Prime is. <laughs> uh, we did it! <laughs> oh man. Alright, so. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to sideboard. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't I don't I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> like, that's the thing. I, I was just like. You know, let's try it out. I didn't think, you know, <laughs> I mean, being the time here, aim one. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not as great. Um, probably want a couple. I don't even know if I want painters seen this, right? They don't have a ton of creatures. Um, I guess I could have, like, the rest, maybe? Yeah, like one of these. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll take that. The rest is like good in, uh, the rest away in ornament, or, um, I don't know, uh, I was gonna say expedition map, but that's no longer an option. Um, maybe like a pre name? I don't know. Ooh, I like this hand. I mean, it's kinda slow, but. You know, I'll, uh, I'll, it. I mean, that's the thing, like, I don't have to have fun. I don't have to have fast fun. I can just kind of play it slow and, and keep it real. Uh, so, I'm just gonna duress turn one. That might, that might be a mistake, but I want to kind of split them of any early plays they might have. Like, taking away ornament, I think is a pretty big deal, because ornament is, like, one of their better, better plays. So, stopping that, I think, would be nice. I'm gonna, uh, name Blue here and pass the turn. So, oh, they might have a motive for here, I, I I wouldn't blame them for that. Ooh, they drew a prod land, so they gave us more information. Alright, so they're a motive for here. We'll see what that leads to. Uh, whenever they have teams, it, it's certainly rough, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm honestly not stressing that too much. I'm gonna play Rats here because it's a more, uh, mana, I guess, efficient play. So, uh, you know, I wanna, wanna make sure I can get that off. And, uh, we'll see if they have prod or not. That's the thing about Prana, is having fast mana is very good, you know? I don't think most people can argue with that. Fast mana is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam with this, uh, Shindering Rats here. And, uh, the question here is, do I want to play Rate here? And I, I think I do. I, I think I do. Uh, it's an another body, it, uh, adds to the clock. Um, I'm down. I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm gonna name Red. I'm gonna name Red on one of these, just kinda throw them off my trails a little bit, make them kinda scared. You know, then I might have something. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a little creative here. This is a little aggressive, I think. Um, I would not have done that because I had a pursuit of all. I could have like just blown them out there for no reason. So, not really a fan. It probably will get pulse there, but I think I'm alright with that. So, we're gonna play this, naming Red. Just kind of you know scare them a little bit. A mind games, if you were. And, uh, you know, take it from there. So, you don't have Prawn yet, so that's good for me. Then a Pulse here, it looks like. I'm fine with that. I don't really care. Yeah, Pulse back the motive here. And then I'm going to smash. And, uh, I'm gonna hold this up. I'm gonna kinda put the theory on in them. Oh man, that's such a good draw. I'm gonna name Red again. I don't need to have that much blue, I have prism and stuff, so... I guess I shouldn't be upset. Ooh, they hit Tron, that's really bad for me. Yep, they hit Tron before we did, how could they? Ooh, they might be scared. No, they're going for it. Yeah, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Oh, we hit Ultima, so Ultima could do a lot for us. Um, it, you, I mean, the problem with Ultima in Shinomi is like... The only good part against it that Tron wouldn't play is, um, Pass Down. But if they're not on cast down, it does actually hurt them. Because now they're gonna have to start just owning cards, I can cast down. Oh my god, they're just not scared at all. Alright, well I'm gonna, uh, oh, even my shittery rats is... I'm down, I'm down with that lifestyle. Um... 
Wow, it, it got through. That's so good for me. That's so good for me. Uh, let's see what they just got. Probably the island. Probably the island. What is this? Oh, they're not family. Okay, sure. Um. Yeah, a family on Moldifer is a pretty big deal. Not gonna lie about that. But, don't you know, I kind of knew that a little bit. They do have to make some tough decisions here, so let me get rid of a mine, and, uh, yeah, leave it at that. If I had a land there, I could have passed down the drifter and just put them in a really tough spot. As is, though, no, we're gonna get to pass down next turn, and they have to let a flicker now, so, yeah, live and learn, I suppose. Another drifter, perhaps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, ask down that 100%, I think. I don't really think that's much of a... Ooh, this army at Nero the Horror. Nope, it's a prism. Alright. I don't know, I like this tapping. Kind of funny. Um, okay, I, I don't understand that now. Alright, so let me get that and ephemerate. Um, the question is, do they do it now? Or, do they, uh, wait? They probably wait. I think that's the red line, right? I like double cash down, it does make life tough for them. Uh, the, I still think I smash though, right? Like, I just go blammo, and then we'll take it from there. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna let this slide and see what they do. If they want to make that trade, I'm, I'm more than willing to accept it. Uh, I'm going to Night Swiffer, try and hit my six land. And then we'll see what happens from there. Mm, this is good for me. They need to have like a flicker here or a counter spell, but it did this third one, so. Oh, it looks like they hit it. That is unfortunate. But the, the problem though is I can still hit a land and then I can get rid of it. Uh, well, they don't get their ephemerate off, but that's fine with me. Well, they're gonna get that a pulse. Alright. Their ephemerate's gone. Wow, I missed my land. That is a bit of a bummer. I just want me to hit that there. But they're gonna pulse that a moment for maybe? No, they're just gonna play it. Alright. Uh, it might be time to just start trying to drain them out before, you know, they can get what they need. Um, it's not exactly what we want to be doing, but I do think it's the correct play. So, yeah, I'm trying to think how I can win this. I really was hoping to land there, but unfortunately, it did not come to fruition. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start playing Rain Merchants, I think. Let's try and drain them a little bit. What is this? Oh, they're going to... Uh, they're gonna slew, that's really bad for me. I might scoop for that, honestly. Um, yeah, I might scoop for that. We'll see. I, I don't know. I think missing some of my land routes has been pretty detrimental. Wow, they do have an exclude. Nice. Yeah, I think we're done here. I don't think I can win anymore. So I'm gonna scoop. Uh, the reason why is because I needed to hit some land routes there. I think had I hit some land routes, I could have, like, you know, maybe baited them a little bit, healed some of their stuff, gotten a little bit more damage. Um, might have won that. Uh, but as is, it's a little bit tougher. Um... Yeah, I do think I would keep that, uh, same morning though, like, none of the other cards are that insane. Um, I guess I'll keep it. It is a little bit of a, of a fun here. I don't hate it. I'm gonna name Blue, I guess. And we'll take it from there. So, is there a pre name here? Alright, that's fine for me. Oh, even Ancient Army is a very good draw. If I can, like, get that down early, it can put him in a really bad spot. So, I'm a fan. I am a fan of that. Not to mention, like, I didn't play that on turn 4 with Ornament, so... I had that going for me. Or I could just play Rats and so, you know, that's, a, that's actually a better play, huh? Yeah, that's, that's a better play, that's for sure. So, now we'll see what happens, but it's gonna be tough, right? Like, 
I'm going to get to get this off on turn 4 on the play while they are not close to Kron. And man, imagine if I killed Tower. That would be so bad breaking. Did they hit the land? Okay, they did. I was like, man, if they did not, that'd be really bad for them. Alright, well, I'm gonna just jam yeah, in the inch, you know I mean? There's no reason not to. Uh, I'm gonna force them to have pass down here. Um, if they have it, so be it, but I'm just. I'm, Alright, well, <laughs> they don't have it. Alright, yeah, this is great. This is exactly how you beat them. Um, if they do get a fast run, though, we can still lose. Like, no doubt about that. Uh, fast run is problematic. Uh, but, looks like it's not quite there yet, so this looks like a Stonehorn, perhaps, but, uh, I, I don't know if I care that much about it. Uh, well, that's gonna be pretty good for me. Yeah, just heal it, and then buy everything away. For now, if they want to eat it bad, it's not, no longer an option. Um, they heard motive for here, which would kind of suck, but, um, don't be it, I suppose. Wow. Um, I'll go one, two, three, play rats. And then go one, two, three, play an ornament and pass. Uh, I'm not going to attack because they were blocked. So, I don't really need that yet. Oh, unfortunately, they didn't hit the crown. Yeah. When they hit fast crown, it's very difficult to beat that. And also, when they draw like a simple moment in their top 16, that's also pretty rough. It's not like a third monitor, so, uh, yeah, put, put the monitor on a station. Alright, what are they getting? Ephemerate? Mm, not great for me. This is going for it here, which I you, you can't really blame them. Uh, the problem though is like, I don't know, I draw like a removal spell here, we could probably get back into, into this, so it is close. Um, the amount of, well, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's not very good for me. That was like a very good secret to draw from them. Um, yeah, it is difficult to beat that. That is for sure. Uh, Double Rain Merchant, though, is nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just start slamming that, I think. Um, I could actually go one, two, three, play an ornament into Rain Merchant. That does sound pretty good. That drains them for quite a bit. And then I'll just pass. Yeah, I think we had like the best draw we could have really asked for. Um, unfortunately, though, they, they just got a quick prod. Like, there's not a ton to do about that. Um, when they get fast prod, it's definitely off. Um, they do have teaching spurts. No, they don't actually. But now they do. Okay, now they have teaching spurts that up, so. That is going to be rough. Uh, I'll play this naming red, I guess. Yep, pass. Yeah, it is unfortunate they got the ephemerate off. Um, I think had we, had they not had like the double dripper there, uh, and maybe just missed for a turn or two, this game would have been over. Uh, but unfortunately that's not how it works out. I assume they're just starting in like counter spells and whatnot. Um, yeah, there's the exclusion that we were worried about. Uh, that's pretty rough. Alright, so they have Ephemerate next loon. I'm gonna turn up my auto yields for a second. They're gonna Ephemerate again here, yep. And I kinda have to hope they tap somewhat low here. Um, like, just low enough so that I can find a window to jam that. So if I do, uh, we could get a window here. This looks like an Inroma Horror, perhaps? I don't know what that was, but it's something. Uh, that is somewhat unfortunate. And you, you can see, like, <laughs> Prod is still really dumb, like, the game was close, and then they got Prod, and, and it didn't matter anymore, like, it, it, I think it illustrates, like, fast mana is still inherently broken, like, there's no doubt about that. I'm gonna draw, let, 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 let them uh, draw it hard here, because they're gonna have to discard, so, I, I think that is the, the red play there. I'm gonna run this out here. Uh, did not hit what I wanted. And I'll just pass. Uh, that might be it. I don't think I can win. I'll play it out just because, but I think the game's over. 
Yeah, fast fraud is difficult. It's unfortunate because I don't think they're playing crop rotation or anything like that, so they have to draw very well. Like, um, I think the versions without crop rotation tend to, like, not get prod nearly as consistently as it probably should. Uh, like, you know, prod is variance, right? That's sort of what prod does, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna relax here and let them do what they want to do. They still have to kill me, so, you know, I don't mind forcing that. Not to mention, like, I have double ornament going, so... They might just, I don't know, not have, like, a valid way to kill me, or... They could have a very slow clock. Oh, this looks like a new Roma Horror. Okay, finally. Yeah, I was surprised they weren't playing that sooner. Mine? Um... Sure. Oh, just earn a power plant, I guess. They're gonna start bouncing all my lands, I assume. They have how many players? Here's one. And one, two, uh, three, four... Sorry, they have, excuse me, uh, not one, two, they have three flitters, I think they can do. Uh, so then there's something to keep in mind. Yeah, I think the game is now 100% over. Uh, I'm just gonna try and bait them here, maybe. A spot, but I don't see how we can win from here. Prod is still very stupid, though. I, I was landing at one game off of it, though, but, uh, sadly, the Prod Mirror is... I don't even know if this is really considered a Prod Mirror, but... Uh, trying to still make it down. Alright, I'm, I'm done here. The game, the game cannot be won. Uh, yeah, I think that illustrates pretty well. Fraud is, like, very dumb. Um, I think the game was, like, reasonably close, but then it just untapped and hit Fraud and then it was over. It's, like, the fast mana was the problem. Um, I think, had they not had the fast mana, they just would not be able to hold up everything. I think that's part of the problem with Fraud, is that when you get Fraud very quickly and you have all this fast mana, um, you get this ability to have some very, I guess, insane draws that are quite difficult to deal with. Um, I do think, though, we, we probably could have won this. Like, we had a very small window where had I hit, like, a removal spell for the Moldifer or something, um, it would have been a very different game. Uh, I would have probably gotten, like, one more hit with Oina, forced their hand to go down even more. Um, I, I just think getting off, like, Moldifer if I'm right, both games very quickly was problematic. Um, that's also why I've been an advocate for the banning of a for quite some time. I think that hard is very obnoxious, and it does wait too much for one mana. Um, I don't play when that hard does, so. Uh, you know, I, I've been the proud player this entire time, and I guess now you can... I, I get to see when it's like on the other side, but... Uh, it doesn't change my opinion at all. I, I still think Tron is a problem, and I think for the health of the format, it would be better if Tron was removed. Um, you know, I think having all this fast mana is obnoxious, and I think the format would be better off without it. So, uh, yeah, we are we're two and one. Uh, we're gonna go into match number four, and I'll see you guys there. All right, we are back for the fourth match. We are on the play. Um. I'll keep it, I guess. I don't know if I'm, like, a huge fan of this hand, but, I don't know. I'm curious. I want to try some stuff out. Uh, have some removal, have some card draw, a couple creature, I guess one creature, not a couple. A couple card draw spells, a couple removal, a couple land, one dude. Uh, in certain matchups, this hand would be great. I want to see the chat, I want to see if they're mulligan it or not. A multi five. So, depending on the matchup, this could be doable. I'm gonna name Blue here. Try and throw him off our trails a little bit. I mean, we also have molded through my, you know, throw them out my fails a little bit. Oh, hey, this, ooh, is this a mirror? Oh, please let it be the mirror. I just want to dunt on them. <laughs> uh, that's all I want to do is like, oh, some model didn't throw a mirror, but I have Tron. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, I don't know if, it, if that makes it better or worse. I'm just curious to see. It does look like it so far. Um, so, I'm going to rob them. I'm going to draw a step here. <laughs> And then we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I just want to see it, like, when I get Tron, like, if I can just capitalize on that. I mean, like, I have Moldifer, so that's very good in the matchup, right? Moldifer's, like, absurd. So. I assume they're gonna heal this, right? Yeah, they're gonna heal it with Cast Down, and then, uh, I'm gonna get to rob them or draw step, so. All in all, like, it's feeling pretty good for me. Uh, this looks like a right here. Alright, fine with me. I'm probably going to kill that on my turn. Uh, that does make it a lot easier to determine what I have to do, right? All night, Christmas. Come on, give me a mine. I want to get Tron once. 
Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm trying to heal it though. Um, the problem is some of the newer lists have bone picker, and if you heal something, uh, in, in weird spots, they can, like, capitalize on it, so, uh, I'd rather just not give them that opportunity. Alright, well, I'm gonna play, uh, Top Down Prism, and then they're gonna bot me, but, eh, I don't really care that much about their bot. Uh, I still feel like very far ahead. I mean, they also multiply, so, like, you know, for whatever, whatever that's worth, but, uh, I'm gonna, like, play a prism here. I guess maybe I should have tapped a little differently, uh, just so that way, um, yeah, so I knew the mine there, like, I just did, I get punished, but, um, I'm gonna run out of, oh, wait, we have, oh, right, we have, we have a lot more mana now. Yeah, I think I should have probably tapped one of these, so that I could have done a little bit more there, uh, so that was a little bit of my fault, but, like, now you can see, right, this is the mirror, we're both on bottom black pearl, but now I have Tron, right, I have all the infinite mana, and they don't. Like, yeah, they have Thorn, but I can capitalize on this now by just flooding the board with the eyes and making, you know, whatever they're trying to do much less, uh, viable, I would say. Because now I'm just needing to do everything I wanted. And, yeah, I think it's gonna be tough for them, like, this, this is the main difference, it's like, they can only play one in a turn, meanwhile, I can just dump my hand. You know, so like, I'm gonna get to steal the Monarch from them. Because I have all this mana, right? I, I hope this illustrates very concisely why fast mana is a bit of a problem, right? So, it's like, we're both bottom black and cool, but instead of playing one spell a turn like a normal person, I just play my entire hand in one turn, uh, which, especially if you're drawing cards, is just a huge... Well, that, that was a pun, right? Unless I have doubled the file, but I think that was a mistake. Um, but, regardless, like, you, you can still see it. Ignoring the mistake. Um, like, how... That breaking this me. So, yeah, I'm gonna attack next turn, like, I think the sequence is, I'm gonna play Grey Merchant, um, or no, I think I play Prism, then Grey Merchant, and then I attack, so that way I can maximize my devotion, but, uh, so, like, you, you can see, like, Fast Man is broken. Uh, it lets you dump your entire hand, and, oh yeah, well, they had to waste two cards on it, that's fine with me. Um, it lets you dump your entire hand, and it just, I don't know, it puts you in a really awkward position. So, yeah, Monarch is fantastic, like, yeah, just absurd. Uh, I'm gonna attack here a hundred percent, I think. Uh, or maybe, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't play Raymond just yet. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna draw some more cards. I wanna get more information. Uh, Night Swiffer. Yep, I'm down. <laughs> well, I, I feel like this. I don't know. This is not right. This shouldn't be allowed. Oh, Eva, like, heck yeah, heck yeah. Right, they didn't have, like, two removal spells here, I guess one, like, they didn't block and then kill the other one, but, like, they're still in really bad shape. Alright, so now I have the monitor, because I have crown, and I have the crown. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great, man, like, I, I think we're gonna win this. And the best part is, they're gonna win in land destruction against me, and I don't think it's gonna be good, because my deck is not built to rely on crown. I can still play a fair game. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I can also get fast mana! I feel like this illustrates my point very well. Like, fast mana is, is a problem. I'm gonna block here 100%. I don't want to give them the monitor. I, I don't want to give them the monitor. That's uh, not really an option. Like, yeah, you can bot me, but who cares? Like, I still have all the mana. So, I'm gonna play a prism here, get some information, then I'm gonna, oh, even Ange can be my opponent. 100%. Get rid of the rest of the cards in their hand, and really just make their, their, uh, the rest of this game, like, kind of a light sound spot. Yep, we're gonna bash, you're gonna lose two cards, I'm still the Monarch, and uh, the best part is I'm gonna Shinrin Rats, put the, uh, their last card on top, and just put them in a really, really awkward position. Uh, oops, let uh, that rightly. And I can go, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're done, they're done. And yeah, I feel like that illustrates why fast mana is broken. That does it. That does it for me. Uh, I don't really know how I want to sideboard. Like, I don't really have stuff for the mirror. Oh, I mean, <laughs> alright. <laughs> I mean, we're literally their net, but we have fast mana. So, I don't know. I, I think that illustrates my point pretty well. Like, fast mana is inherently broken, and I do think Kron might become Evergreen, where you should just be playing Kron at your mid-range net. Like, it's wrong not to. We're 3 and 1. We are 3 and 1. Um,. I'm happy with that. Like, yeah, we lost against Tron, but whatever. It's the Tron mirror. You're not supposed to always win it. It's a dice roll. Um, I think had things gone a little bit more in our favor, we could have absolutely won it. But, you know, once again, it's the Tron mirror. So, 
I don't really care that much about it. We're three and one. We're we're gonna eat our money back no matter what. I don't care if I lose the last match or not. It, this has been a great showcase for this deck. Uh, I think it can probably be tuned a little bit more, made a little bit better. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I'll see you in match five. All right, we are back for the final match. The Fifth match. We, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make our money match. No uh, no worries about that. The question is, is this a heat? And I I think it is. I do think it is pretty pretty close to a heat. Not a perfect hand. Oh no, more Tron. Oh, same with Tron. All right. Um, I don't know if that makes this better or worse. Um, I don't know. Um, I think they're playing faint with Tron. Maybe. I'm not a hundred percent. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is Fainted Tron now. So, their idea is, like, drop rotation and power plants and all that for Assemble Tron, uh, as quickly as, as possible. Um, I don't know if this is a good matchup or not. I really, I mean, Tron is just stupid. I think Tron will become more prevalent, but, um, it doesn't look like they have anything going on for them right now, so. The problem is, I think this deck got hurt way more by the Tron Mannings than any of the other Tron decks, and we're gonna have Tron now, so this is great for us, like, they need to have something on this turn, and they don't earn that shape. Um, they may have a crop rotation here, but no, this is a molder for no an impulse. All right. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Pron because once again I'm the worst ill player here, uh, obviously, and I'm going to get to go Pron into um. I'm not sure actually. We'll think about what our play is. I think it might be molder for honestly. Molder for does draw us into more action. Um. It's a flyer, it can beat down a little bit. Uh, I'm definitely interested in that. Uh, obviously we want to hit more mana out, so that's another reason to play it, but, um... Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. Like, I, I think, genuinely, the, the more I play this league, the more it's illustrated to me how dumb these lands are, because... When you have ornament in prison, it's just so free. You're not losing anything. And, I, I don't know, like... I'm still playing all the model that control stuff, like, yeah, I'm losing the file, but whatever, who cares? You know, like, that's, that's the, 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 the funny part, is like... I, I lose the file, but... At the same time, I eat Tron mana. I, I think that's a genuinely worthwhile trade. I think most people would take that trade. Like, you get a ton of free mana. But you lose the file. Oh, hey, fine. I have cast down now. My removal spells are just as good. Deal. So, yeah. I'm I'm feeling this. I'm excited. Um, they have to have Tron now. Like, they have to have something. Okay, they don't have anything. Uh, they're, they're in pretty bad shape. They're, they're, they're in pretty bad shape. Um... I'll tap first, I guess. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, next turn I'm gonna go... Should I, I think they're just dead, actually. I don't think they can possibly win here. I'll go one, two, three, Shittering Rats. Uh, Ray Merchant them, and then the game is over. Okay, they're done. Uh, wow, yes, I mean, it was the show, Fast Mana's broken. I mean, literally, I'm playing Mono Black Control, but I have Fast Mana. Like, think, think of it that way, right? A man who Mono Black Control had Fast Mana. It, it might be good, it might be viable. And that's what Prod does. It gives you fast mana. Like, I didn't... The only card out of Model Black Control that I played there that was not Model Black Control related was, like, Moldifer. Like, yes, I played Ornament, but you can play that in any deck, and I have seen some Model Black Control that's with it, so I don't know if that counts. But that was about it. Uh, in terms of sideboarding, I genuinely don't know. Um, I think I want Cast Down, I think I want Shane or Phoenix, and I probably want to snuff out. I don't think Nerus is very good in the matchup, I don't think I want Reaping the Rains either. Um, I think that's about it. Um, Nerus, like, what does it hit? Like, what do you mean? It's like, I don't know, they're more creature based anyway, so... I'm not really stressing. And like you saw, I think our early initial hand was not remotely close to foul, but all of a sudden, boom, fast mana, it's good, it's viable. Uh, I don't know, I think that's a bit of a problem, but... Yeah, that's just me. I don't know, but like, the map banning hurt their net more than like, I don't know man, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, the more I think about it, the more I'm just like baffled. Why they banned map over Tron, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I'm gonna just earn that green I don't know if it'll have that much sense in the matchup, so. Oh yeah, they have Tron, let's see what they can play here. They have to play like a Faint Rune Marauder. Okay, so they have to play Faint Rune Marauder, and they have to have like, a follow up. Alright, they have it. Okay, yep, sure, but I'm gonna just kill that and play Shitting Rats. I'm gonna play the rats here, uh, just kinda mess them up a little bit. Okay. 
Uh, this is funny. This is funny to me. I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm having a good time. Even though I lose the match, right? It's going to invade out the fast mana, and I do not. I'm, 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 I'm having a great time here, if I mean honestly. I'm, I'm really vibing. You know, I'm having a great time. So, I'm going to slam, and then next turn, we might open it in, Shinomi them. I should not be a team, by the way. I want to hold the pass down. Okay, they're probably going to get that of Fanny here. Oh, wow, they have nothing. Okay, that's great for me. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna slam out him in Shinomi 100%. Like, yes, they could pass down me, but I'm gonna make him have it. I don't think that's unreasonable. Force them to have it. If they don't, they're in really bad shape. If they do, whatever. Okay, let's let them pass down, but I'm alright with that. I got a horn out of their hand. They're gonna, like, okay, they got that Marauder. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm fine with that trade. Honestly, I, I think that, that went well for me, because you have to get it out of their hand at some point, and, uh, they're still in, in pretty bad shape. Like, they have to draw, like, a Moldifer um, to even get out of this, so... Yeah. Okay, so they have a land, so they can even find light here, but then they're just losing their artifact for no reason, so... Alright, well, I'm gonna have to play an ornament here. And then I'm going to just heal that now while I can. It sucks they have another Fendra, but, um... Yeah, it, it happens sometimes. Alright, so, if I can hit a land next turn, we might be able to lock them down. Ooh, this looks like a Moldifer, so that was like the best draw here. Yeah, Moldifer is very good, it's, it's like the best draw they could have at this spot. Because so they need to start drawing cards, they need to like get their way out of this position. Uh, so that is like their best option. No doubt about that. Let's see what they reveal here. Uh, they reveal another artifact. Okay, yeah, I don't care that much. Alright, Shane or Shane, it's not bad. I'm gonna lead off with Red Scene right here because I do want to draw land. I, I do think that's very important. Um, that's down. Alright, well, I, I'm gonna use my mana. I'm gonna get rid of their Moldy for. Yes, they can get it back again and replay it, but it's random. They have no say in the matter, so uh, I do think this is a red play. Um, yeah, they have a, not that the crusher, it doesn't do anything. It's uh, a giant, uh, you know, 8 mana play that I can just build for 2 mana. So, all is well. Um, yeah, they're, they're in a tough spot because, um, like, they have two artifacts, but they just start, you know, flooding or not drawing what they need. They could definitely lose here. I'm going to play a rat just to get the last card out of their hand. Uh, this also puts them in a tougher spot. Uh, what is this? I'm unsure. Uh, we'll see. Okay, whatever, I don't really care. I'm gonna just heal the crusher now. Yeah, so this kinda undoes it, but still. Like, now they're the top hit mode. I guess they have two on maps to start drawing with, but... Eh, I'm not really stressing. I assume they're gonna start cycling them, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have to hit the other rats off, so all is well. Alright, let's see what they hit. They hit a Thurin, so right, that's good for me, because the only thing they can have is a um pressure and they miss, so they're gonna play a spear here. Alright. Okay, what do they have? What do they have? This looks like a Fainrun Marauder to me. Which I don't really care about right now, honestly. It doesn't do anything. That's the problem. It's, it just sits in play, and it's like, yeah, you can gain life. Oh, Reaping so Whatever. That, that doesn't hurt me. I'm not a friend yet, right? That's the best part. Wow, they have a lot of Haunts and Fender Fs, that's for sure. Hey, they are really into that card. Okay, this is fine. I, I don't really care. I don't really care. Alright, I'm gonna play this guy. Draw a card. I'm gonna play this. Gaming blue, and pass the turn. So like now they get that flash right and flash that inner units now. Like this is the, this is the best part. It's like I'm still just trying. I mean, they have that for which is like the worst outcome for me. Uh, they were only twenty five percent to do that though. So I don't know, man. Was it thirty three? Excuse me. Uh, oh sorry, thirty three. My mistake. Um, 
yeah, that, that was pretty bad draw for me. I, I wish they hit, like, Maraud. Yeah, like, they, they were so less likely to do that. Like, odds are not in their favor, but, you know, random is random, right? Sometimes it goes against you, sometimes it goes with you. Um, but yeah, whatever, it happens. Um, if this is a crusher, I think we're dead. Got some Marauder, alright, fine. Nice whisper. Heels. I will draw my card. I will Shanner's Enix them. I'm gonna lose the Mulder for an imagine. And play Shannon Rats. Just add a random. I'm gonna draw something a little bit. And I'm not gonna do that. Uh, is this a fireball? <laughs> oh, it is. Alright, your names. <laughs> I believe you. Yep, alright. Alright. Okay, so, game numero tres. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm more than that. I don't really think there's anything else I want to do. Like, Nares is not very good against them. Like, they're, they're not playing, like, flickers or counter spells or anything like that. Like, they have cast now, but, like, whatever. Screw it. Make them have it, you know? Not to mention, like, they still have to get prone, you know? Like, they can still whiff. So. You know, I, I still like how I'm born in. I, I still think, you know, how I have my, uh, born in here is correct. Um, yeah, no, I'll, uh, maybe not. But maybe. I don't know, I'll, I'll risk it, I'll risk it. Honestly, the found mirrors are pretty dumb, you know. All about who eats lot here, and I, I don't really care for that too much. Well, I guess our net is built to, like, not worry too much about found, so. I don't know, I'll take that. Mmm, I'll play this. I don't really have any option to play this, but down to tap land. Alright, looks like they are going in a fast crowd, which is unfortunate, but eh, that's all about it, nice rolling, so. And an impulse here, yeah. I really like this card, by the way, in crowd. I, I think it's very good if you're trying to assemble crowd quickly. Uh, but you know, when they, uh, when they assemble it, they do in fact assemble it. Uh, I'm gonna probably considering rats right now, it's better to get that one out earlier, I think. Rather than later. Um, and then we'll see from there. Alright, play considering rats. I think they have it. Yep, they got it. Turn to drawn. Remember, folks, any expedition map was supposed to stop this. Yep. That, that works out real well. Real well, by the way, I might add. I don't know, I, I mean, time I see it, I just think it's idiotic, but whatever. Alright, well, I'm gonna draw my card. And we'll see what happens. Oh, they're gonna kill this one as well, I'd imagine. Yeah, they're really scared about the ancient on me, I suppose. Alright, well, there's a rainbow, shouldn't play this as well. And we'll see what they have. Uh, is this a Painton Marauder? No, it's a Swearing, sorry. Okay, Swearing for a Fanny that I don't care about. Alright, fine with me. Yep. Alright, well... This is our play. And like, you can see, like, the fact that I'm at Conland this entire league really has not prevented me from executing my model black and full game plan. I think that's one of my takeaways from this league. It's like, we're probably gonna lose this game. It, it's probably over. They have turned me con. Like, uh, there's no reason to not scoop at that point. It's the thing, like, I, I just don't think it's worth the time. I should not be, uh, this looks like a rusher. Yep, alright, well. Yeah, I was gonna say I should not be sitting there, but, um,. You know, we're probably gonna lose this match, but, uh, I'll, I'll still play it, but, you know, we're probably dead. Uh, ooh, right here, sorry, well, that kind of... Next Swift was, like, a very good draw, I'll, I'll admit that, that was, like, one of the better draws we could have there. Uh, but I, I, I do still think we're gonna lose this, like, they have to, like, flood or draw really badly here for us to not, you know, win it, so... Marauders, whatever, I don't really care. Um, I can just flash back Shainer's units, and that doesn't do anything. Like, their fatties are not that big of a problem in the current, um, setup. Uh, sorry, I, I was, I had a previous thought, and I just don't remember what it was. Uh, but basically, um, 
Uh, yeah, no, I don't remember actually. Sorry, I, was, I went on like a little tangent. Like I thought I was dead, then it grew Night Whisper, and then uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm thinking about way too many things. Um, you know, I was talking about how like Pan is dumb, and how um, all I've learned from this league is that it's probably incorrect for Mount of Black Control to not be playing Pan Lands because it's basically free. Like it, it feels very free. Is all I'm saying. Like I don't feel like I'm losing anything. By not playing Conley. Um. But. That hurt me mistake in my brain. I'm not 100%. Alright. Well. Hmm. I mean I guess I can do both. Right. So. Let's play right here. So this gives us an out on Tron. And do not. Alright. Let's play this. I mean they have a fanny. But if they don't draw anything. We can still win. Ooh, okay, if we have Pride next turn, we might be able to win this, though. They have to draw very badly, they have to win one turn, but if they do, we're in shape. Oh, they have a fireball. Okay, are they gonna... Okay, well, they hit the fire. Oh, we're not dead, though. We're not dead. Uh, okay, they're gonna roll... Oh, we are dead. They're, uh... No, we're dead. They're gonna roll each under our board, and then we're dead. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we're not dead. Huh! Alright, I thought we were dead. I mean, we're not in good shape. Ooh, let's stop correctly now, shall we? We're not in good shape, but like, mm, we can still win this. Uh... Do I want to draw it hard? I guess I do, right? Yeah, it's like, this is not very good on its own. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna turn up on the yields here, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, well. We can, we can still win this somehow. I, I, I thought we were dead like five turns ago. Uh, if I mean 100% honest, I was like, yeah, we're, we're probably dead here. Alright, well, you insist. I won't play that one. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, this league event is nutty. Uh, it doesn't feel like a normal league. It just feels like an experiment that went wrong. Uh, which, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, I'm not gonna play Dream Merchant. And, and, and draw another Fireball. Like, I'm dead anyways, you know, like. <laughs> I don't really think that's worth playing around. Oh, Marauder? Oh, this is fine. I'm gonna, um,. Entertain at that 100% is, uh, for his speed is pretty good deal. Also, all it was actively in there because now, um, if they draw a Hogs and Fen Wrath, it's no longer an out, uh, which is great for me, all things considered. Like, Hogs and Fen Wrath is now a dead top net, whereas before it wasn't. Alright, well, I'm gonna play Raymer now because I drew another one, and yeah, I need to just start closing this game. It might have been wrong to not play it sooner, but like... Eh. Okay, what is this? Uh... Sorry, it's just fine. It's all... I mean, it's all like an artifact, I guess. Well, that, I guess that is bad, because it's all them into something good, but um... They can still win. Okay, they win. The nice part is they have to play out where they draw, because if I draw up Shinnering Rats, they're in really bad shape. Wow, I really thought I was going to lose this. I'm not in I thought I was dead. Um, I mean, that's not to say we can't still lose. We can still very much lose, but, uh, like, they can still, I don't know, stop fireball or something and kill us, but now they're, like, dead on board. So... We can still win. Like, Tron, Tron got us out of that. That's the funny part. I mean, Tron let us win that game. That's the funny part. Drawing Tron, aim is a shot. Because fast man is broken. I mean... Wow. I don't know, man, like, that's just... Okay, they knew Mold of Persians messed up that, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna ask down just yet, um... Because we flipped that on board, like, I don't know, it, it will die. Yep, it's fine. I mean, I don't know how they win, like, I'm trying to think what... They have to draw a fireball, but... It doesn't rain it, since it's not a top net anymore. Um, so... If they have another Mold of though, I'll just... That we need to hit and just screw them. Right? Like, that's the play. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill them all now. I I'm hitting my own Ripper, I know that, but I, I still think that's the right play. Um, it, it just makes it a lot more difficult for them. So. Alright, they have Auction Fender Rap, but I, I don't care. Like, you're not gonna be able to play your Molder for now, so I don't know what your hand is. You have to have. Wow, we won that. Holy moly. Holy moly. Well, that was a very good show. I genuinely thought we lost that. We went 4-1. 4-1, losing to the Proud Mirror. 
Um, I don't know, I want to see what else I'm going to draw. What else I'm going to draw? Okay, top net boulder for that's great. Wow, yeah, no, we, we were gonna hit a lot. Oh, wow, they were dead. Okay, so let's do the math, right? Uh, I play Bonifer. Right, I draw that for the turn. I play it, draw one, two. Okay, then I play Night Whisper, draw one, two. Then I play Prism, draw Raymer. They were dead. Wow. And I had all the mana to do that because of Tron. Right, so let, let's count. One for Prism, one, two, tap for Bonifer, one, two, for, um, Night Whisper, and then I have, like, enough mana left over to hard cast, uh, Raymer. That is insane. That is insane. Wow. Wow, that, that is absurd. Um, yes, I, uh, <laughs> that went better than expected, I'll be honest. Like, that went way better than I would have ever expected. Uh, that, that was like, very close for 5 -0. Like, very close for 5 -0. Um, which, to me, is saying a lot. It's saying a lot. Um, it illustrates, like, the power of Tron and what it offers. Like, you saw how bad that game looks. Like, the entire time, right? I'm, like, I'm playing this crappy mod of Black Control that, that's a little slow, a little funny, it's not able to do what it wants to do, and then all of a sudden, I hit Tron, and I'm just exploding. I'm playing, like, three to four spells a turn, and my opponent is, like, they're not playing Flitter Tron, so they have less, like, Busted draws, like, you don't have teeth or anything like that, like, they have kind of these one ear creatures, but, holy moly. Oh, here's, here's my sort of thought process, right? Like, let's pretend they ban Ephemerate and Earth and Flitter and all that. I mean, what prevents the format from devolving into this? Because, quite frankly, this is better than Mono Black Control, in my opinion. Uh, it feels very good. Um, it feels very good. I'm, I'm very impressed, so, I don't know, I'm gonna have to let my thoughts, and we'll to wrap up, but, yeah, I don't know, pardon me being a little, I guess, embracing that time, I don't know, but, uh, I just, this, this, this lead just showed so much to me, and I just thought it was funny, I mean, it's one result, so it's came with a great assault, but, I don't know, alright, that's it, that's all I have to say, I'll see you in the wrap up, alright, sort that for the wrap up, uh, four and one, uh, what's our record, right, we can see four wins, one loss, um, we beat, Blue Black Free from the Real, we beat Burn, we beat Mono Black Control, and we beat Faint and Tron. We lost two Tron, which is expected. But we lost one and two, and we probably could have won that had we gotten a little bit luckier, or our opponent got a little bit unluckier. But it was a lot closer than I anticipated. Um, so what's the takeaway here? Well, why did I do this? Um, I did it because. There was kind of like a joke in my head, which is like, look, Tron is busted, I know Tron is busted, I want to see how far I can take, right? And, there's this joke that it's like, oh, Mono Black Control is really bad, but it, you know, he puts Tron in it, it might be good, right? And, before we got Bonder's Ornament, or the Thriving Lands, I was like, you know what, that's probably too much of a stretch. Like, you only have Prism to fix your mana, and, it can still come back to bite you. So, it wasn't worth it. But now that we have Ornament, we have 8 mana artifacts that not only draw hard, but they fix our mana, or ramp us, or a little bit of both. And, if we have Prod, they're just absurd. And like, yeah, I'm not playing the Expedition map, I'm not playing pre and I'm not playing Impulse, I'm not trying to actually find Tron. But that's okay, because I don't need Tron to function. Right? You saw, a lot of my games, we were just playing Mono Black Control, we were just playing our cards, doing what we had to do, Yes, we got Tron a couple times here and there, but, like, by and large, it wasn't, like, the make or break for some of the matches. We just play matches normally. But the hit was that when we got Tron, we got three wins. And, to me, that's a pretty big eye-opener. Right? You don't have to play Ocean Slater or Ephemerate or do anything silly to take advantage of the fact that fast mana is inherently broken. So... Yeah, to me, this was a pretty big eye-opener. It was a pretty big eye-opener. Um, when we didn't have Tron, we were still Mono Black Control at heart, we still got to do Mono Black Control things. We weren't really missing on much. But when we did get Tron, we got to win games, we probably would not have won otherwise. Which I think is absurd. Like, you saw in, in Match 5, Game 3, um, we got Tron, and we just started to slowly go off, and we won a game that we probably should not have won. But, because of Tron, we were able to win it. If we were his regular amount of control, 
We would have lost that game. I would bet you money. But because I was strong, I also just start playing multiple spells in a turn. I also start going out doing some crazy things. And that's what let me win. If I didn't have Prod, I would not have been able to have that turn where I asked, you know, like, Motive or Infant Ray Merchant, and then the following turn, that Ray Merchant, Ray Merchant, you know, do all these crazy things. I would have been, like, a regular model deck control deck, like a regular deck, and have to play my spells in a normal fashion, one at a time. But, when mana is no longer a model deck, you're severely advantaged. So... Yeah, this is one lead, take him with the rain of salt, but all I've learned from this is that the Frown Lands are very good. I'm going to continue this series, by the way. I'm not done with this. Um, I'm going to try other nets, I'm going to try other things out, and I'm going to say, look, what else is out there that it's better with Frown Lands? Is Boros better with Frown Lands, right? Should we be playing the Boros nets with Frown Lands? Is it wrong to, to be playing them without it, right? Because if you can still play a normal game, and then all of a sudden, boom, I have Tron, I used to start doing crazy things. Why not do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can be a normal deck and just have Tron lands in them, and then function as if they were not Tron lands, but then if you can assemble Tron, all of a sudden now you have a huge mana advantage, why not do that? If there's no difference, right? You, like, I guess, well, I mean, there is a difference, but like nothing. Huge or radical, right? Like, they still felt and played like model black control for the most part, right? There wasn't a drastic difference other than the fact that we have a million mana from Tron. But in terms of the game where we did not get Tron, but we had Tron land from play, it wasn't that big of a difference. It felt more or less the same. So, if you can play the same game but also get this upgrade of fast mana, I think it might be incorrect not play Tron. It might be incorrect to not have them. And I think maybe Mono Black Control should just start looking into playing Tron. I'm not kidding when I say that. I think that you should probably just be playing Mono Black Control with Tron Lands at this point. I know that sounds absurd, but from that leak alone, the fact that I was so close to a Vimo, and the fact that it was just powerful. Is what, what makes me think, you know, you should probably just keep playing Tron. Because you're not losing that much. You're really not. Um, not to mention, like, you can get a full sideboard card. You can play Gorilla Shaman. You can play Lone Missionary. You can play, you know, Ancient Run, Lightning Bolt, Pyroblast, Hydroblast. You name it. You get access to so many cool sideboard cards that you would not have access to otherwise. So, I do think if you're a mono black control player out there, seriously, look into this, I, you know, I, I think there's something here, I really do, um, and if they ban, you know, flickers and all that, and they keep on that, fine, because I think that's what just evolved into this Tron soup, where, I mean, look, if Mono Black Control gets to play Tron and there's no downside, why wouldn't any other min rate get, like, not play the Tron lands, you know, Boros, I'm gonna try that in my next episode. For sure. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna look into other nets, see, you know, what can and cannot play Tron. I'm curious now. I wanna see how far I can push the envelope and play Tron lands in various nets because I think it's very good and this has taught me a lot about Tron. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm just, uh, trying to collect all my thoughts, but this was an awesome lead. It was fun. It was interesting. Uh, I had a blast. I, I had a fun time. So, uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and, uh, yeah.